What's going on YouTube? My name is Diesel and today we're trying a brand new game that's out on Steam Early Access called Tewa. The Tewa is wheel. No, it's French. We're getting all French alike. French at all. All of them is all of them is peace. Beautiful thing. It's a winemaking tycoon game where you control a vineyard, grow your grapes, ferment your wine, press it, stomp it, sell it. It'll get you drunk. It's gonna be a good time. So Let's hop on in and let's show you the game Tawa. The Tawa is real. So Diesel, let's, let's keep it simple. These are wines, because these wines is, is the best is in the world. Now, you start off with three main tiles here. So, oh, we got, and it uh, it procedurally like adds them in too. So you can start off with a lake, you can start off with an empty slot, you can re-roll these tiles, construct building. Oh, so we can construct all kinds of new things over here. And there's different tile types, like lakes, and then there's clay types. And it costs a certain amount of scratch to get going. Now when this little uh, thing pops up here, you can go ahead and you can plant your Juans the way you see fit. So we have Cabernet Sauvignon and Chardonnay. The fanciest of the fancy. Let's hop it into the Cabernet. Let's get a little red wine going on in here with delicious. Delicious grapes. Plant! Now, the ripeness is what you gotta keep your eye on. So through the uh, the spring, summer, fall, and the fall is when they'll try to um, keep them, uh, they'll get be ready for, uh, the option will be ready for you to pick your grapes, and then that way you can make your wines. Now you can speed things up. You have a uh, three different things up at the top where you can upgrade your chateau to advance through the levels. We have this area where we'll go into our wine cellars. It'll show us our barrels, our bottles that we have stored up. Ah, yes. AKA Paradise. And then this is the clipping tool. So whenever your leaves get a little crazy, and uh, the more leaves, it'll bring down the ripeness. If you clip them up, it'll uh, spring up the ripeness of your grapes. And ah, see? Looking good. So now, let's clip them. The sweet spot, like I said, is in the 4 to 7 range. That's the range you want to get it to. If it goes up too high, it'll be too sweet with uh, very little acidity. If it goes too low, it'll have too much acid and not a whole lot of anything else. And that's a no bueno. That's no bueno, my friends. So it is a nice little chill game that you can kind of sit back, relax, and just let the time unwind. You can move the uh, map around with your right mouse. And uh, scroll in and out with the scroll wheel. All right, so our redness is going up to two. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and we'll speed some stuff up here real quick. Summer months are here. And the uh, the time passes by a, at a good amount. Wine is suffering from fungal rot, and its yield is decreased by 50% every month. Oh, no! And you have different things you have to deal with from time to time, as you can see. Oh, so now we're in the sweet spot. We're in the sweet spot from four to seven. Oh, no, no. Now we got the summer months going through. All right, four. So when that grape little icon pops up above your chateau, you can go ahead and you can pick your grapes. So this is what we have to deal with. Four acidity, eh, it's okay. Sweetness, a good solid five. Tannis four, body four, so it's okay. 0.9 to almost one ton. Not the best, so icon, foot, this is our crushing area. You have three different options, but you can only get them as you unlock your chateau level. First part increases tannins, uh, tannins by two. Takes five seconds per varietal to complete. A traditional form of crushing grapes that is closely associated with the popular image of winemaking. It's all in the legwork. Yeah, you gotta have good quads. Gotta have, can't skip leg day. This is leg day. Get. Get after it. Hashtag get after it. And make sure you don't have anybody who's got like those hairy hobbit feet. Kick them out. I need the finest of feetsies. Not feces. Tootsies. We're going to stop them with our little tootsies. So let's go ahead and we shall crush you. Crushing in progress. I wish I had like a dude out here crushing grapes with his feet. Kind of like a little option. Not even a little option. Just showing everyone. So, fermentation. Every month the fermentation decreases sweetness by one. Aw. Uh -huh. Wine will all, uh, like all alcoholic drinks, needs to be needs to ferment. Your wine's sweetness will change depending on how long you ferment your wine. Perfection is only achieved through trial and error. That is true. Any winemaker will tell you. It's a long, arduous process. So, 
Sweetness is five. I want to keep it there. If I go any further, it's going to decrease by one. Let's keep it a nice, a good half and half sweetness. Nothing too sweet, nothing too sour. Just right, perfect in the middle. Just right, as Goldilocks would say. Aha. Now, we must press it. For every 10% of pressing juice, your acidity increases by one. Before your wine can be aged, you need to press the must. You must, huh? You need to press the must to obtain the fermented juices. Okay. Use a slider to determine the ratio between pressed and free run juice. More pressed juice means higher acidity. So I want to boost the acidity up to around a good eight. Because in our next area here, it's going to bring it down by a little bit. So 40 pressed juice, 60 free run juice. Begin pressing. It's duh pressing. No, it's not because we're going to get drunk. All right. So. After uh, aging softens a wine's tannins and acidity, giving it a smoother and more balanced taste over time. Some storage methods have a chance of imparting different flavors to your wine. So experiment with each could lead you to some interesting results. So we only have three different options. We have the common French oak. We have stainless steel vats. And we have white oak. Why has it got to be white? Now, if we go ahead and have this, so acidity will decrease by one, so we'll knock it down to seven, and tannins by two. So we'll have seven, five, four, and whatever the body shall be. We must have a good body. It's a good vintage. It's a good year. My friends, what we're going to do is we're going to drink some wine. It's got a good body. Good feel. It's good. So... Let's hop on in. We have it all barreled up. Uh, Siddhi still at eight, so we gotta give it a little time. Give it a little time, my baby. Boom, 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 boom. And you can't turn down this music either, which is kind of annoying. Let's play. There we go. All right, Siddhi seven, sweetness five, tannins four, and body five. Let's go ahead and we'll bottle it up. Now you can have a screw cap. If you're one of those unfancy types, and you can only choose between these two bottle types as of right now. I'm sure they will add more, or they could unlock more. But, we got a nice little cork, and that brings up the price by $2 per bottle. Alright, so three grand. We only have $15,550. But you know what, we gotta go fancy. Go big or go home, you know what I'm saying? Let's do it. So now our bottled up wine is over here. Diesel Wines, Cabernet Sauvignon, 2017. We can name them too. Uh, it'll be fine. So we can organize a taste testing, and that will be able to judge what we can sell it for in the stores. So organized testing. We have three uppity up muckety mucks from around the town who think they know what they're talking about. Um, usually, I have a couple friends of mine who are really into wine, and uh, they're really great guys uh, when you talk to them and you hang out. But the second they start talking about wine, I want to kick them in the throats. They're just like, mm, that's a good blend. They start swishing around in their mouths. I know there's a science to it or a method. It's just super gross. So we have Boris Meow. Meow. A little Boris Meow. Fern Bosch, who's apparently quite the last, quite popular around these parts with all the fellas, if you know what I'm saying. And then we have El Squashito. He is a fiery He is a fiery individual. The Latin fire. El Squashito. So we invite them to the taste testing. Boom! The verdict is in. The reviewers invited to the wine tasting have written their reviews, good or bad. The word is out now. The price of your wine has now been determined by the words of a few, albeit powerful, critics. El Scorchito. Good Cabernet Sauvignon is everywhere, but great ones are rare, just like this little gem. All said by three nobodies with one-star ratings on their reviewer rating. But fine, I'll take a five out of five star rating, and now we can sell. So we got 600 quantity. We have the Ferry Brothers. Fairy, fairy and Brothers. Who were the other brothers? Fairy and Brothers. So that's the, the Fairy Brothers. Hoogang, Wine Martin. Woo-ha, Wine Market. And then the Manhattan Cellars. Oh, it's very fancy. So, I'll tell you what. We'll put 100 in there. We'll throw 100 in there. And we'll throw... Oh. I'll tell you what. We'll do 200 over here. 200. 200. Throw 200. And 300. Because Manhattan Cellars, I feel, would be fancier. Sell. My man. Now, the best part about this is that now that we have this area taken care of in the Cabernet Sauvignon, it'll constantly grow that Cabernet Sauvignon all day. All day, every day. Construct buildings. We can construct... Oh, we got worker's offices. That's really all we got. Worker's office allows you to research new techniques for attending to your vineyard. 
15 grand could help us build it. We don't have that kind of money right now. We got to wait to sell that sweet, sweet wine. But at the same time, this is also going to be growing the second springtime hits. So it's a constant cycle. You're constantly going to be making money and constantly experimenting with your art, with your wine making abilities. So let's see if we can try and uh, make something a little different in the second go round. So let's speed her up a little bit. Now we have the winter. The winter is ending. Ready gold. Come on, winner. Let's go ahead and we'll check the latest financial report. Revenue with total expenses twelve grand. Total revenue six grand. That's because we had to buy all the grapes, I think. And distribute the wine. I don't think it was that good of a harvest, let's put it that way. So, now that we have everything taken care of, we should be able to see some sweet, sweet rewards. All right, so the ripeness is going up to two. Now we picked them last time at wine ripeness four. Let's get a little ripe, little more ripe. Many much more, many much more riper. It's the, it's the ripiest of the ripes. So we'll speed her up a little bit, a little smidge. Boom, 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 boom. I have a feeling I'll be humming this throughout the entire day today. It's one of those catchy little tunes that you don't think is going to catch you until you get the earworm and all of a sudden you're walking down the street going... Da, 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 da. All right. Wine is suffering from fungal rot, and that fungal rot keeps getting us every single year. It decreases by 50%, so it's no buenos. That's no bueno. Oh, look at that. Look at the money we just rolling in, baby. We are rolling in the dough. 21 grand? Nice. Nice. All right, so now that this is all poofed out, this will actually bring down the ripeness value of our wine. So we need to get the sun on it so that we can increase the ripeness of our grapes. Got to keep on clipping them. Clip, clip, clip. Clip, clip, clip. Let's clip, clip, clip again. There we go. Let's bring up the ripeness. Four. Good. Come on, five. Let's go to six. I want to see if we can get to six. Very good. Pick the grapes at six. Fancy. Five acidity, six sweetness, five tannins, five body. And yield. Oh, through a combination of excellent weather and canopy management, this year's grapes were exceptional. This wine gets... Plus one to its final rating. If its final rating is three and a half stars, <laughs> but if it's one star, can't you just can't you can't you help a brother out, man? Can't you hook a man up? What if it's a crap wine? Be like, listen, we're gonna get we got you this time. It's gonna, we're gonna make this crap wine a two star crap wine. Still a crap wine. All right, so only have one crushing method. So we'll go ahead and crush the grapes. We must crush the grapes with our dirty little tetsies. Our dirty little. Tatsis. Okay, and now every month the fermentation decreases the sweetness. Now we have a good sweet wine. What if we decrease it by two? Let's do it. We'll decrease it by two months. Experiment a little bit. Just tweak some things. See how everybody likes it. See if it makes us a little more moolah money. Eventually. The fast... Today, Junior. T -t 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 Today. So these grapes are gonna these grapes are gonna pop up no matter what. So when it comes around time for the grapes to drop on up, once you start getting more into the business, you're gonna get busier and busier and busier, clipping grapes, making sure that they taste delicioso. So for every ten percent press, the acidity is increased by one. So we're gonna drop we're gonna pop this up to two. Um, we're gonna pop this up to seven, so that way it'll drop down to one with our tannins. Begin pressing. Very good. And it's going to decrease our tannins by two, so we'll have five tannins and seven acidity for sweetness and whatever the body feels like it wants to be. Whatever that body feels like doing to me, baby. Just, just get it all over my body. Just pour it all over me like a Jay-Z video. All right. Bow, 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 bow. Bum, 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 bottle, my friends. So we got a screw cap, and you know what? Let's go with the screw cap. We'll make this a cheap wine. We'll make it cheap. Give it something you can take to 
like a neighbor's house. That's like a housewarming gift. You know the kind of wine that you give a neighbor, like a brand new neighbor, you don't know how cool they are, so you don't want to give them expensive bottles that would make you think you're all fancy pants, but you just want to get drunk and have a good bottle of wine. This is what we do. Bring out the screw cap. Everyone doesn't have to worry about pop, pop, popping bottles. Let's do it. Now, organize the testing. Once again, we have Boris Meow, Fern Bosch, El Escorito. Oh, we have a two-star prestige, Caleb. Caleb sounds like he's a real... He's more snooty. And we have to invite the ladies. You can only invite three. Can't invite all four, unfortunately. But bang. Everybody loves it. Everybody loves it. Everybody loves our wine. The verdict is in. The reviewers invited to the wine tasting have written their reviews. Good or bad. But they're all good. Even Fern says, Good Cabernet Sauvignon is everywhere, but great ones are rare. That's what that's what else she did. That's it. You're plagiarizing now. Are you, you guys are you guys are hooking up, aren't you? You heard that from him, didn't you, last year? Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. I got I see what you're doing here, Fern. I see what I see what's going down here. Sell. 840 quantity. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and we'll put in two hundo there. We'll put in 420. Whoa, that's for 4,000. 420. And then 220 here. Sell. At $25.40 per bottle, man, we are going to be raking in some sweet, sweet cash. So nice. That's going to be super duper nice, guys. So we put that, that was time the, the, uh, the ripeness was at 6. That was a quality ripeness. That was delicioso. But folks, that is a start to Tawa. Do you have the wing? It's terrible. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. All the French people right now want to stab me, and I understand. So, um, little nifty game. It's one of those kind of sit down, chill back, calm games where you can, you know, become a little wino and make a little cash. So let me know if you want to see more. By all means, hit that like button. Helps out my channel ever so much more than you know. And if you like it a whole lot, go ahead. Hit subscribe. New videos coming out every single day, every single week, folks. Have a great day, afternoon, evening, a good night. Peace out, life shout, y'all. And I will check you out right here again in Terroir next time.